Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha and this video covers about variables in Citrus. We'll see how to declare variables, how to use them, the syntax for using the variables and the various locations where you can declare variables. Variables can be declared and can be referenced using the expression dollar curly brace and the variable name. The variables can be declared globally in Citrix context.xml file under the tag Citrus global variables and we can have all our global variables in this file. All the global variables are accessible to all the test cases within the project. We can also declare variables in a properties file and have refer that properties file within the global variables using the Citrus file path. If in case you just want to use the syntax and you want to escape the variable expressions. So basically when we write dollar curly brace, your Citrus evaluates the value for the variable. You just want to print the syntax as it is. You can escape it by using the to forward slash before and after the variable name. If in case you are writing test cases in XML file, already XML has its own syntax with the tags. If I want to provide the value for a variable, which should be XML, I won't be able to do that. In that case, I can use C data and say that this particular, these tags followed within the C data should not be passed by Citrus and they should be replaced for the values with the variable name as persons. Let's see how we can declare and use the variables in the Citrus project. So let me create a new class and I'll say new class and sample variable demo. I have this variable, I can say extends and I can use testng or junit, it's totally fine and at test and we'll have at citrus test test variable 1 and same I'm going to have here say test variable 2. I can declare variable using the variable function providing the key name suppose I say email and the value Suppose I do this. If I want to use the variable, I can just say echo and I can say suppose variable declared locally. Email variable declared locally. To access it, we use dollar curly brace and the email syntax. Now remember, I won't be able to use this variable declared locally within other test case. So let's just keep it. Now if you open the citrus context.xml, you already have an entry for a global variable with the name project.name. So let's use this. So I can say echo and global variable and suppose I do this. I want to escape executing this. I can use to forward slash and I can print the value. Now I also have a properties file. Let's create variables over here. So suppose I say test dot author is equals to and I give the name as Shalini Mittal. I want to access this variable. Let's try doing that as well. So then I can say here dollar test dot author and let's replace this test dot author. Let's access these two over here. Fine. Let me run the test cases. So if I say run. Of course, the test cases fail and if you would see, it says unknown variable test.author, 
right in test variable 1 because this is not globally accessible and here you can see in test variable 2 unknown variable email because this is declared locally within the test case. Let me comment this out and let me comment this out. So test case passes and if you see we do have the variables. Can you see global variable citrus integration test under. So let me expand this under test variable 2 and then we have for test variable 1 we have the email variable declared locally and we also have the global variable. So the global variable is available to both the test cases. For us to be able to access the variable declared in the properties file I have to inform so I can say here citrus file path it's citrus dot properties and now we can go here uncomment run the test cases let's see it ran it's successful if you would see this is test variable 2 echo global variable echo the test dot author same way if you would see test variable 1 we have echo, we have the global variable, we have the author as well. Now if in case I am writing test cases in an XML file, so we already have it, let's reuse that. So we will just go here and we have the sample xmlit.xml. I want to create a variable that is able to store XML values. I use the syntax. To declare the variable that stores XML data, we just use the C data. And if you would see now, I want to access this persons. So if you remember, we had sample XML IT dot Java where we are running the test case and I can say here, let's see. So I'll have echo message. persons data is dollar and persons. So let's execute this and see. So then you would see date and the persons data. If it's not XML, if it's normal plain Java, in that case, you can definitely go ahead and I can say variable and I can write persons and ideally I can replace this with the XML tag. So I can write. So with Java, we don't need to have C data or anything because it understands. But when, when you're defining test cases using the XML syntax, to tell the citrus that hey do not execute this as a part of a citrus uh, variables and just provide this as a value for the person's variable we just use the C data right. So here in that case if I am using with the Java I can directly do this and I can provide the variable over here and it can be done. So this is how you can declare variables, you can use variables, the syntax for the same, the various locations that you can provide your variables depending on whether you want to reuse it in multiple test cases or whether you want to have it locally within a test case. So with this we come to an end of this video. Happy learning, take care and bye bye.